Good morning, folks. Today we're going over the CME that is expected to arrive tonight. We'll hit a record snow event, magnetic tornadoes on Jupiter, and solar forcing of the ionosphere, including the ozone. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find it was a relatively calm day. No major flares or eruptions. The SDO satellite data center got flooded, so we're using the Gozar here the last two days. Glad to have a backup. And while we're watching the sunspots and filaments for more eruptions, tonight the last one we discussed should arrive. It was the mild M flare and filament snap we're zooming in on here. It released a solid CME that was easily visible on SOHO coronagraphs, and which the Enlil spirals and experts all agree could arrive at Earth tonight. It will not be scary, but a relevant minor event is expected. We will be watching closely. Up next, we're going to Korea, where the country is relatively shut down in terms of transportation with the largest snowfall in at least half a century. They are digging out here now. Welcome to winter a little bit early. Up next is a fascinating story about haze patches created by magnetic tornadoes at the Jupiter polar region. They are more present in the southern hemisphere than the north, and these strange magnetic tornadoes create the patches about the size of Earth made of hydrocarbons. Up next, we go to a thesis on the global impact to the ionosphere from the March and April 2023 solar storms. They were the first two solar storms after the record magnetic anomaly and field shift acceleration in 2023, so it's certainly no surprise the impacts were global. And in that same vein, the ionospheric impact is why it's been known for decades that this effect impacts the ozone negatively through the production of nitrogen oxides. Interestingly, they have noticed a halt and reversal of the ozone recovery since 2019. Past sunspot maximums have not been able to account for such large shifts in the pattern, despite larger sunspot maximums in the past. It's likely that this weak to mild solar cycle is having such an outsized ozone impact because our magnetic field is shifting, weakening, and leaving Earth more and more vulnerable to solar energetic particles. Remember folks, next conference at Observer Ranch is on Saturday. I'm going to be making you a space weather, solar forcing, and magnetic pole shift disaster cycle expert in about one day. That's what these mini conferences are. UFO Day coming next month with more scheduled in the months ahead. Come see us. We'd love to shake your hand in person. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.